Hey y'all, I didn't really introduce myself. My name is John Julian Dorsey, or John Dorsey, or JD. I'm a pretty good old cat. Matter of fact, I come on here to talk a little more. I'm a one-man army right by myself. I take on the whole damn world every day. It's me against the world, been like that way all my life. I'm here just to say one more thing, and I may not say another. But one thing about it, I can't stand gossip, fighting, or bullshit. And I'm, I'm going to try to stir up, clean up what's been stirred up and clean the pot. Because I'm tired of smelling shit. Anyway, Jay Blanchett's a pretty good old boy. And he does pretty good on what he does in life. Damn good, matter of fact. And I love him, and I always will. And I love the whole world. And I love a lot more of my family than they think they do. But they've been a bunch of assholes here lately, some of them. Acting like five-year-old youngins. Fighting like little five little youngins. One of them got it. One of them daddy acts like a three-year-old. The way he talks about cutting people's heads off with a knife. Anyway, I'm just putting it out there how I feel about stuff. Because one thing about it, all that ass whooping can get you one or two things. It can get you in the graveyard, or it can get you in jail or prison. And another thing, threatening to cut somebody's head off with a knife to their face in public is terroristic threats, and it can get your ass put in jail. All somebody got to do is press charges and call the law and press charges on you. Anyway, I just want to clear up some of this bullshit. People need to keep their nose in their own ass instead of trying to stick it in somebody else's. I'm Like I say, I'm a pretty good old dude. I try to live and live and let live and enjoy life the best I can. I'm old. I ain't going to last forever. Nobody will. But thank God he's pushing me. God's letting me go a little further in life. I'm restarting working a job that's, that most 20-year-olds wouldn't want to have to work in a sawmill. Why? Because I have goals in life. I want to go places. I want to do things. I want a brand new truck. But I can't do all that without a job. I hadn't worked in four years. But I'm fixing to go out there Monday morning and show them, them people at that sawmill that this old man still got it. He'll get out and work hard. He'll like work two 20-year-olds, two average 20-year-olds. I worked at another job in a warehouse a while back, and it was at a place called, uh, it was a wood place where they made firewood. You know what? I worked hard in there. I was 55 years old. I'm a little older now. When I went to work at that job, guess what? I went in there and it was like I was fighting the fire all day long because that's how hard I worked. I was seeing old guys there, they were talking about laughing. I, I, I thought they were just, you know, they was pissing their wheaties trying to piss me off with the, way, the shit they were saying. And I went over and said, what y'all talking about? He said, oh, how hard you work? I said, yeah. I said, I'm a hard worker. I said, I've always been like that. I got back on my little forklift and rode off, and I said, they were still ever talking about me. And that's when I come back over and told them, I said, yeah. I said, I told them, I said, yeah. I said, I'm a one-man army right by my damn self because how hard I worked. One guy looked at me and said, no, sir. He's about 30 years old. He said, no, sir. He said, you a damn two-man army. But I outworked the average person because I'm a hard worker. I got a lot of backbone and a lot of willpower and determination. Anyway, some folks just need to mind their own damn business. And this world will be a lot simpler place, a lot easier place to get along. And everybody can be happy and do their own little thing. And there won't be no shit in that bucket stirred. Because like I said, I'm tired of smelling shit. It's time to put a stop to all that little childish behavior. If somebody wants to fight you, let them fight you. If they think they can whoop your ass sober, then they need to whoop your ass sober. But just so they know, they ass could go to jail for whooping your ass. Because they laws out there. Everybody can't get away with everything. And if you can't whoop their ass... Or just want to talk shit that you're going to whoop your ass. You need to just shut your mouth and keep it to your damn self. And don't fuck with nobody else. Because that's when you stir up that bucket of shit. And like I said, I get tired of smelling shit. I smelt shit all my life. And do do for other people's stuff that they've done in my life. Anyway, I try to love everybody. I try to be good to everybody. I try to treat everybody like they want to be treated. Because that's the way it's supposed to be. You're supposed to treat folks like, they, like you want to be treated. And if you don't do it, guess what? It's going to come back and bite you in the ass. Anyway, I love y'all guys.
This is old J.D. Dorsey, John Dorsey, and Julian Dorsey. I'm out. Y'all be good. Have a good one.